Hi everyone. Now in the vices, this is a a CDC soft tackle. Uh, this one's I, I call the water hen blower. Uh, obviously, you can see the type of uh, the colour that suits the water hen blower. Uh, the only difference is obviously the uh, the hackle being used as a, a CDC feather. Now these are extremely soft, great for casting upstream. The fly moves itself, uh, basically, uh, how can I put it, if you're really looking for a fly that's got a lot of movement then this is the style you want to tie a fly. Now I, I do tie them in different sort of colours as well, I mean I've got, this is a, the olive version. Uh, now these all uh, are basically, if you imagine having a bead in front of this, good bead flies, See if you're, same, same dressing but put a bead in front. Uh, and you can get them a wee bit deeper if you want. And the grayling love them as much as the brown trout will take them. Now, the, I like fishing this uh, in combination with another nymph, much like the one I just tied recently. Uh, this one here. These these work as a good team, they're nice and soft. As I say, a lot of movement in them, and the fish do, do like them. So I'm going to show you how to tie this fly here. Now, this tied on quite a reasonably heavy hook. This is a competition heavyweight. This one's from Fully Mill, and you could use light hooks if you want. I'm using the weight of the hook just to get it down a wee bit. Now, it's really simple to tie. It's just a standard sort of soft tackle style. This day, I'm instead of using a, like a traditional silk, I'm just going to use the uni thread, in this case in yellow, and 8 I'm still going to wax the thread, obviously. Just run the wax through it, get your grip. And then, just put a layer of thread down the shank. Now I'm going to stop just slightly by the point of the hook. Now the dubbing, I'm just kind of upping it a wee bit this, changing the traditional fly. The traditional fly would be mould. This one here I'm using this uh, dubbing from Fully Mill, it's called Euro Nymph Flash. It's a dark hairs here and UV. It's a, it's a nice dubbing. Now you only need a wee drop and you want to try and get a wee bit. I mean, there's obviously there's a bit of a UV in it, so you want to make sure you get a wee drop of that, and you don't need much, honestly, you don't need a, a lot. Slightly dub it on, and you want a sort of nice shape in the body. You could run, run your uh, thread back down and up through to get some of the yellow thread to show through. I'll just show you what I mean. Rub it, run it down, tighten it up a wee bit, and then rub it up through. And that gives you a nice mix of the, the yellow thread and the, and the dubbing. Uh, if you want, you could actually brush it out and make it a wee bit more. So, I'll put a wee bit more life into it if you want. So anyway, now for the hackle. Now, what I've got, what I'll, what I'll do, I've actually got some small CDC feathers. I take the dubbing off, I t pull off quite a few of the, the softer fibres down the base and then use the tips for hackles. Uh, I use them for tails and hackles, but they're very good for hackles. So this is the tip of a small CDC feather. It's a natural colour. This one's a just it's quite a light done, this one. Some feathers I had. I actually think these are not off a duck. These ones are off a goose, which are slightly lighter. But uh, the, the normal one's fine. So what I've done is just used Pull the fibre back to reveal the tip of the hackle. So I've got wax on here. So I can tie it in. And then I'm going to use, just wind this. Now these stems are strong. So just fold back the fibre like you would do a normal soft hackle. And then we just do a turn in front of the other. Just working your way up. You will get two or three turns, but I try and use up the full feather. And then across my thread, nice and tight. Now it's a thin enough stem that I can fold it back. There we go, it just came in and snapped off there, but that was fine. And then a wee bit of varnish onto the thread. I'll obviously, when you've got finished, this will seal it. This will lock it in. That's it. And the thread away. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to use the, blow, the hair dryer through this just to show you. It'll actually bring it out nice. 
it just put the hairdryer on just lift out the fibre you'll see the shape a wee bit better I know it doesn't look like much but when you see this in the water it, it, it moves, it's alive so it is a lot of movement in this wee fly uh, and they do catch a lot of fish and as I said don't be shy to put a small small bead in front uh, that like a wee silver bead that in this case I usually put a silver bead in front and it works extremely well with and without so give them a go try different versions any good nymph that you have uh, and you've got some small CDC puffs uh, especially the, the, you, you get these wee packets they've got a very soft uh, and short small hackle or even if you've got a big pack at a CDC you will have a lot of small feathers in it and you can easily use them up in flies like this I know it doesn't look like much but it makes up for it in the water so I hope you enjoyed that and again thanks for watching